guys, it's Kira from KiraWilliamsFitness.com, and today we are going to do pigeon pose. So let's go over a few pointers here. When we're ready to go into this position, um, we can get into it from a few different ways. That's one way. Um, we can but we want to end up with our front leg in front of us. Our foot's gonna be by our hips. We're gonna be working towards that front um, shin, you know, being, being horizontal, um, but that's not possible for me. <laughs> um, so from here, some of the main points, basically, once you're in this position, is always be thinking about turning your body towards the ground. You don't want your chest to open up. You're not gonna get as much out of this stretch. We wanna think about keeping, putting our like chest, our body, our upper body towards the ground. And then from here, if that, you can see it better on the side, but if there's a lot of space between the, the, your butt cheek and the floor and it's uncomfortable then you can wedge something underneath that like a book and that might help you feel relaxed because ultimately we're trying to get into a position where you do feel relaxed and then from here we want to just bring our chest down towards the ground right and then if you can make your way to forearms or make your way to like more of a lying position then you can but if that's not comfortable and you're not relaxed there then we can set a prop underneath our forearms just to kind of bring the ground closer. That's how I rotate in and out between the two positions. And this side, I don't have as much flexibility, um, but I'm feeling a major, major stretch through the hip flexor of the leg that's behind me, and then a stretch through the outer thigh of the leg that's in front of me. And I'm just gonna hang out here in this position and let things open up. But I need to be relaxed. You need to be relaxed when you're in this position because when you're relaxed, your muscles will relax. So breathe and let your muscles relax and let the stretch do its job.